There are a few tasks performed by specialized tradespeople that are so intimidating, so scary, that even people in other trades, they look at those tasks and they say, I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to do it. That's not what I specialize in. And if you're a tradesperson, what is the task that you see other trades performing that gets you a little weak in the knees? You don't want to do it. Leave it down below. We want to hear your feedback. But in this video, we're going to introduce you to a Milwaukee tool accessory that makes this intimidating test seem simple and easy. It's coming right up. You know, there are a number of Milwaukee tools and accessories that help make my life easier on a daily basis. Like for instance, this Surge Impact Driver. Super quiet, real powerful, and where before I might not want to use an impact driver because of the excess noise, this tool, I don't mind it. It's awesome. In conjunction with that Surge Impact Driver, we got this right angle drill attachment. It gets you in the tight places where you probably wouldn't be able to fit normally. I like it. And also, you got this Milwaukee sleeve. If you're running longer fasteners, this sleeve can help you do it. You get less wobble, less cam out in your fasteners. One of the most intimidating tasks I feel for tradespeople is drilling and tapping holes. And I think the reason it becomes intimidating is because of the conventional and traditional way of drilling and tapping a hole. Force in the wrong direction, you can then snap that, that die and tap set off and inside the hole, and once it's broken in the hole, trying to drill it out is an unbelievable task. It just is very intimidating for people. And it seems like there's so many moving parts to make it happen People just say, hey, I'm not even getting involved in that. And quite frankly, I don't blame them until now. Here's the Milwaukee tool accessory that makes that intimidating task simple and easy. It's their five piece drill and tap set. It's part of the Shockwave line of drill and driver bits. It's product number 48-89-4874. And what's great about this kit it includes five common sizes. You'll see them here, all the way up to quarter 20. And instead of having to do multiple tests, drilling the hole, then tapping the hole, this does all of that in one motion. You'll see, here is the drill portion of the bit. Then we move down to the tapping portion. So it cuts those threads as you're drilling. They even include a countersink. They're laser etched with their sizes. So once they're out of the package, you, you could still see what sizes. And here's the best part. They're impact rated. They have a quarter inch hex shank for impacts. Now, according to Milwaukee, they're good up to a quarter inch metal. I think we're gonna test it out on some thinner gauge metal first. And then maybe we'll work our way up to something that's a little bit outside of the specs. If you've been here for a while, <laughs> you'll know that's how we do. We're also gonna go right to the biggest bit first, which is the quarter 20. And I will tell you, this is really machined nice. Take a look at those. Here's a question. It says it's good for up to quarter inch metal. My question would be though, would it, would it even work on something like 18 gauge metal? Curious. It actually did drill it, and it looked as though it did tap it. And you'll see that our quarter inch fastener is threading into it. My question would be though, will it pull it tight? It's working. It's not bottoming out though. And I think it's because of the top of the fastener. You see here, it's just there's no threads there. We wanna put in some, some fasteners to hold these tools that have belt clips already, right? And, and the reason is the way they're positioned now, if we try to pop them off of the rack, they're gonna bang into these organizers. It's not gonna work out well. But if we can hang them down below over here, that, that will work better for us. This makes it so much simpler. Like literally, we're gonna drill this hole, it's gonna tap it. 
back it out. I'm gonna thread it. Then we can hang our tool. Pops on, pops off. So that we're able to have space here on the shelf. And then we can have, have these tools here on their belt hook for easy access. Pretty cool. That quarter 20 fastener, it's threaded here through, through this hole perfectly. That literally removed the entire intimidation factor for me. Leave it down below if it removed the intimidation factor of drilling and tapping holes for you. Matter of fact, it was so easy. Let's move on to something a little tougher. We could use it to attach our Milwaukee Pacquiao mounting plate to our Milwaukee dolly. Wait. Now we got a sturdy pack out dolly. A good quality tool will make its job look effortless when used within its specifications. A truly exceptional tool <laughs> will complete a job even if it's well beyond its intended ratings. We have half inch angle iron. And the reason I'd like to run Milwaukee's drill and tap through this half inch steel, even though it's only rated for a quarter inch, is because it will help me to illustrate the countersinking feature of this bit. I just so happen to have a quarter by 20 fastener. That could use a nice countersinking. To give it the best benefit, I'm gonna drop some oil onto the steel. Almost there. Wow. It countersunk the hole, it drilled the hole, and it tapped the hole. Now, it didn't finish the countersink the way I would have liked, but... And if you like, when tools make intimidating jobs look simple and even exceed their specifications by double, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. Helps out the channel immensely. Plus, you'll get seven years of good luck. Also, leave it down below. Are you now thinking of places you can use this drill and tap? so that you can mount anchors and fasteners and all types of stuff to get your job done quicker, faster, maybe your chores. We wanna know, leave it down below. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. 
see you later.